what's going on everybody? We are here in Atlanta uh, on the way to Cali. I'm waiting on Xavier. We're going to California. We're going to Joshua Tree National Park. So I'm gonna take you guys with us. It's gonna be cool. Uh, let the adventure begin, man. <coughs> hey, what's going on, man? Uh, we are here. We just landed in Los Angeles. Almost ran into a little discrepancy earlier on the way coming here from Phoenix. They told me I had too many carry-on bags. I'm like, I just got off the plane, the same plane, with the same amount of bags. Why are y'all tripping? And then we started going back and forth. I got a little heated. But anyway, we're gonna make it a good trip. So yeah, man, on the flight, uh, American Airlines, man, they broke my tripod arm. So I have to get another little screw for my tripod so it can work correctly. So I went with my buddy's house. One of my good friends, he recommended this place in LA. It's called Sammy's Camera. It's off of Fairfax, I believe. But Sammy's Camera is like the mecca of camera stores, man. They have everything in there, bro. Like the, the customer service was great. They have three floors just of everything photography, any accessories, uh, cameras, camera parts, old vintage cameras, lighting, everything that you want as far as uh, cameras you can get there at Sammy's camera. They're not paying me to say this, but I could have literally spent hours in that store I if I didn't have I just stopped and got some goodies. I went to the camera store to get a screw for my tripod mount. Yeah, man, it's gonna be a while before I get to my destination. It's saying about three hours and 18 minutes. Let's do it, man. Let's get it. Yeah, man, we are just cruising on the way to Joshua Tree National Park, leaving Los Angeles, and we are going to fight through this thing called traffic. Now in LA, man, traffic out there is a little bit different. So I live in Atlanta, right? And the traffic here is, it's, you know, we got a lot of traffic. But out there in LA, that's like grown man traffic. LA is like little boy traffic. I mean, um, Atlanta is like little boy traffic. LA is that grown man traffic shit. Like, it, it sucks. But you gotta go through it to get to where you need to go out there in Cali. It started snowing on us. Finally made it. Almost didn't. Almost did not make it because I chose to take some Delsum, which I'll tell y'all about that a little bit later. And I found out it rarely snows in Joshua Tree. Like it was, it was pretty cool. We made it. Good morning. It is uh, 10 o'clock here. Uh, we're in the Yucca, the Yucca Valley. Um, so I came by the California Welcome Center and they're actually closed today because they said it was due to inclement weather. Just to be straight up, this is how stuff goes, man. Uh, I had a little cough yesterday, so I said, man, let me go get some Delsum. And I went to get some, uh, some of this right here. Delsum 12 hour cough. I didn't really read the instructions. So I just took two capfuls, which this, uh, after reading the instructions, said you're not supposed to do that. Anyway, I took two capfuls of it. And I was like, let me get rid of this cough. So I started driving, I'm driving, I'm driving. And man, my stomach was, oh my God. Whew. Let's just say I'm glad that uh, uh, I, I did not mess my pants up. All right, cool, man. So we are coming up on one of the entrances here at Joshua Tree National Park. To the left, there's a guard booth where you can buy a entry pass or you can buy a, a pass at the visitor center, which is about three miles back. Um, I'd recommend buying it at the visitor center because it gives you a good starting point. I think you can get maps there. It gives you the lay of the land, the area, kind of a history of Joshua Tree National Park, history of the Yucca Valley, the area that you're in. All right, so I just entered Joshua Tree National Park, getting ready to do some exploring. I got my camera with me. I got some water with me. I got my knife with me just in case any animals try and get crazy on me. I'll be good. A lot of people ask me, man, like, why did you want to go to Joshua Tree? Why did you want to go to Death Valley? Why do you want like to explore? Why do you want to go and explore? Aren't you scared? Or, you know, people ask me just different questions on why I want to do things that I, I do. The main reason is because I can. God has given me the ability to be healthy, be in my right mind, to be positive, to have a good attitude to just, you know, experience and enjoy life. And that's one of the things that I'm really gonna try my best to do. And that's why I love the travel, man. I love to see different things. One of the things that got me really interested and hooked on, on traveling was this show I used to watch, it's called Planet Earth. And Planet Earth used to go around the whole world 
uh, taking footage of, of different animals, you know, just different in different parts of the world. And, and you just get to see so many different places. And one of the things that stuck out in my mind was oh, somebody has to record that. Somebody has to actually be behind the camera. It's possible for you to get there. It's possible for you to travel to other places in the world to see other things. And that's one of the things that I really try and incorporate with my life is just trying to see something that I've never seen before. Do something that I've never done. Go somewhere that I've never been before. And just really experience it and just and just make the most out of it, man. Like some people say, man, live each day like it's your last. And that's one of the things that I really, really try to do. So yeah, man, um, man, this was a beautiful trip, man. But I, the only the only problem and the only issue that I faced is actually not staying long enough, man. I feel like I took probably about 5,000 pictures, probably more, but I always feel like I could have taken more pictures, man. Seen more stuff, just been out there longer. You know, the weather was cold everywhere I went. It was windy. You know, it was it was uncomfortable, man. But right now, I give anything, man, just to feel that feeling again. It just made me just feel such a peace with the world, man, such a peace with myself. You know, um, and just driving through the park, man, it just gave me some time to really reflect on my life and reflect on who I am as a person and just also reflect on this beautiful world that we live in. You know, and look at these Joshua trees from far away. They all look the same, you know, but when you get up close on them, you know, they're all different. They all have this unique personality, man, just like us, man. We all pretty much look the same from a distance, you know, minus our skin color. But deep down inside, we're all different. We all... Uh, we, we all think different. We all are unique, man. You know, uh, life is what you make it, man. Either good or bad. And I'm trying my best to make it a good one, you know. And, and through traveling, man, it, it just gives me such an outlet, you know. I, I, just to be straight up, just to be honest and candid, right after COVID, I felt like I was dealing with a lot of depression and just not, um, just, just kind of feelings of inadequacy with myself and not being where I felt like I, I really wanted to be. But just going on this trip, man, and really having a um, time to just think and reflect about the opportunities that I have and about, you know, the, the blessings that have been bestowed on me, man, on my life, on my health, on my, my family, my daughter, just everything. I'm just so thankful, man, and just glad to experience this, man. This is my first time here to Joshua Tree, and it definitely won't be my last, man. I have to make this at least a yearly trip. The next time I go, I definitely want to camp. I'm probably going to camp out in the um, uh, in the park. They have areas for people to camp out and do their thing and, and just really be be one with nature. One thing that I did not do because uh, I just didn't have enough time was and plus the weather too was to do some night photography to like capture the actual um, night sky and um, the Milky Way, the stars. Because I've seen some pictures out there with some long exposure photography and the stars at night and it's, it's incredible man and i really wanted to do that but unfortunately this trip did not um permit me to do so but anyway be good out there